Hi, Dr. Nathan Ritter from CardioGage.com. I'm a cardiologist in New York. This is the second video in a three-part series on the 11 dumbest things you can do for your heart. Uh, so let's talk about number seven. Number seven is having a strong family history for heart attack or stroke at a young age and then doing nothing about that. So for example, if somebody in your family, a parent or a brother or sister, had a heart attack at say age 50, that's something you really want to pay attention to because that implies you could be uh, at risk yourself. So I really encourage people to think about what's happened to their parents, what's happened to their brothers and sisters, and if they've had trouble with a specific type of problem, then they should talk to, that, uh, talk to their doctor about that and try and figure out if there's something that they can do to uh, avoid the same thing happening to them. On to number six, uh, using tobacco. I mean, we all know smoking and using tobacco is bad for you. People do that for a reason. It helps them pay attention, helps them have a better mood. Um, it, it, it's, people do it for a reason, but unfortunately it becomes an addiction and the nicotine and the chemicals in the tobacco are, uh, are bad for you. So um, it's a classic dumb thing you can do for your heart to ignore the idea that uh, tobacco is bad. And I know it's not easy to quit, but I encourage anybody who's a smoker or uses tobacco to try to move on and uh, try not to do it because it's uh, terrible for your heart. Um, here's a set of images showing an angiogram from a person who's a lifelong smoker, um, heavy smoker, and uh, people who smoke oftentimes will have trouble with the main blood vessel uh, that goes to the heart. These are the coronary arteries, and the worst place to have a blockage is right at the trunk here um, because that uh, Im impedes blood flow throughout the entire um, coronary arteries and uh, makes the heart muscle starved for blood. So this uh, smoker had a nasty blockage right here and ended up having bypass surgery. And she did okay, uh, but she did indeed uh, quit smoking after the bypass surgery. So uh, I consider number six uh, dumbest thing to do is to um, smoke or use tobacco products. Number five. Uh, number five is to overuse alcohol. Uh, if a person drinks a little bit of alcohol routinely, for a woman, uh, one drink per day, for men, one to two drinks per day, that keeps coming up good for you. So a small amount of alcohol on a routine basis is, is fine. It's not bad for your health, and in fact, it can result in better health. Um, but if you overdo it with alcohol, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten drinks per day, um, it becomes quite bad for you. Um, so once you get up to around four, five drinks per day, you can have uh, direct damage to the heart muscle. The alcohol can damage the heart and make it so it doesn't pump right. Uh, high alcohol use causes high blood pressure, and if your heart is pumping against a high blood pressure, it can also weaken it. Um, here are some images from an echocardiogram that shows uh, a person with a weakened heart muscle from alcohol. Um, the heart is uh, very weak. It's barely squeezing at all. You can see it's kind of barely moving. The heart uh, main pumping chamber of the heart is enlarged. So this is an example of alcoholic cardiomyopathy. Here's some images from somebody with normal heart pumping function, just so you get an idea. You can see how much the heart muscle is moving a lot more than the other one. Also, alcohol can cause heart rhythm problems. Um, the most common one is atrial fibrillation, which is an irregular heartbeat. It tends to be a fast heartbeat, makes a person out of breath, they feel crummy. It's a real nuisance to deal with requiring a lot of medications and procedures to control oftentimes. So overdoing it with alcohol is the number five dumbest thing you can do for your heart. Number four dumbest thing you can do for your heart. I'm going to go with eat tons of crappy food. So if you just eat garbage food all the time, pastries, donuts, chips, just white bread, white rice, carbs up the wazoo, not paying attention to what you eat, butter, ice cream, you can only expect to get diabetes, have insulin resistance, have high blood pressure, get a heart attack or two, a stroke, get ulcers on your feet, all that stuff. Eating badly is such a common thing in the country. That's why I make it the number four dumbest thing you can do for your heart. Um, it's easy for me to sit here and wave my hands about it, but I think we all know Americans on average eat very poorly. There's a lot of great information on YouTube about how to eat differently from how we normally eat. And frankly, there's so many different ways to do it better than we currently do. I wouldn't be able to say what's the best way, 
I have patients who eat a vegan diet, do very well with that. I have patients who can't tolerate a vegan diet because they need the protein. So they might have a, uh, include some dairy products with the, uh, with their vegan, otherwise vegan diet. Um, people have done paleo diets and done well with that. And Atkins diet's probably better than our normal diet, although that's not a well-proven thing. And um, uh, a Mediterranean diet is the standard thing that the doctor will say you should do if uh, you're trying to eat healthy because it's got some proof behind it. Not a ton. A Mediterranean diet would be lots of fruits and veggies and uh, not a lot of uh, carbs and uh, lots of fish. Um, the South Beach diet is a variation on the Mediterranean diet. Um, so, uh, and then fasting. Fasting can be a great way to um, take control of what you eat and uh, can improve health. So, um, the number four dumbest thing you can do for your artist, eat like an American. Okay, that's it for the second video in the series. Um, please hit the subscribe button, mash the thumbs up. I appreciate the feedback, and if any questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer them.